while these women become leaders themselves uh, they do not see which is very very threatening actually is that they do not see their uh, daughter-in-laws or their daughters as working and being economically active so if you are typically ask them about their dreams they'll say uh, I want my daughter to get married into well for a girl it's always getting married that's the dream so we have not been for a girl the dream is never that she gets educated which is very typical even for the middle class um, and also the fact that you know that she gets married into households so that she doesn't have to work which is really dangerous for her own betterment they think that not working is a luxury which it is which it is in some sense uh, for two reasons one is that despite the fact that you may be economically active in India you still have to continue with your dual care work which is unpaid for uh, <coughs> it's considered your work you know the men probably still won't contribute even if you yourself are, are economically active and secondly also because working for their mothers was such a compulsion you cannot not earn or if you do not go out to earn for a day you don't get the wages it's not a fixed salary you don't get leaves you have no social security right so uh, then they think that not working is a luxury not your daughter not working or your daughter-in-law not working shows that you have gravitated up the ladder of poverty and that's a very dangerous trend and uh, you know it's still very prominent even with the women leaders that we are working and that's very dangerous and it really pains us